Your actions have changed the world. Morning 47. The Ark Society's annual gathering is several weeks away, which should give us ample time to prepare. Meanwhile, Mr. Gray has an off-the-books request. Perhaps you should explain. Noel Crest. One of my best fixes. Before Romania, I left him in charge of the militia. I told him in no uncertain terms to cease all attacks on Providence, stand by and uh, await further orders. Safe to say he did not. Crest and his men have gone rogue. Reinventing themselves as a glorified gang of international thieves. They specialize in ruthless spectacle heists. Zero regard to collateral damage. I've seen the man's file. What did you expect would happen? It's not like I had much choice. Seeing as all my best lieutenants were killed by you two. Hmm. Fair point. Nevertheless, Crest is a rabid dog. He is my responsibility... My mistake. I would like your help correcting it. Current whereabouts? Ambrose Island, an isolated harbor north from the Strait of Malacca. Coincidentally, one of Wazir Kale's old ports of call. According to my intel, Crest and his men have joined forces with a local pirate syndicate to raid a passing tanker. His goal, a control unit for an Ether Corp satellite being covertly shipped abroad. The satellite is a node in the company's most secure cloud storage network. So they would bear fortune to preserve its integrity. What is Crest's endgame? Extortion, if I had to guess. But we don't have the luxury of a full investigation. For us to move against the constant, we need Providence to think the threat is over and lower their guard. Another militia attack on Ether would raise alarms. I agree. 47. You'll need to eliminate Crest and destroy that control unit, or lock the militia out. The satellite cannot fall into their hands. We'll need a cover story for ICA. Luckily, Akka, the rapacious leader of the Syndicate, already has an active ICA contract on her head. Take her out, and we'll even get our expenses paid. Well, I never had you pegged as a rebel. I'm warming to it. Thank you, both. 47, seeing as I know Crest, I'll provide field support. Meet you out east. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman Free and the new map, Ambrose Island. And we're going to begin with the challenges and we're going to run through the entire mission this first couple of times. So we'll be starting off with Made to Order, which entails poisoning one of our targets, which will also get us Tasteless Traceless. And we will also get Someone Could Hurt Themselves and also Elegant Neutralization. So today we will be bringing with us just a silenced pistol and a vial of lethal poison everything else is available on the map welcome to the andaman sea 47 we've arrived just in time it seems crest didn't disclose the true object of the heist to his partners so akka has seized one of the satellite control unit's key cards as collateral until they can renegotiate the militia have set up camp near the remains of a colonial outpost. Both Crest and the control unit should be nearby. You'll need to destroy the unit itself, or render it inoperable by retrieving both keycards. Knowing Crest, he'll have given his to someone he trusts, but Akka is less inclined to delegate. She should be in the pirate base when she's not out among the locals. I provided you with a GPS tracker. Activate it when you're done, and I'll initiate extraction. The sooner we finish up here, the better.
So, right from the start and off the bat, this is not the most ideal starting location as we are quite far away from the main event. So we are going to run straight off of the pier and into the woods ahead of us. Veering off onto the path on the right and you see we're going down the central section of that path and we're just going to run all the way along right to the end until we get to the beach area and this is the what you would call the town center with the bar up ahead of us we're going to veer off to our right here and up the second flight of stairs on our left hang an immediate left and around to our right and we're going to duck into the house just here on our left and we're going to turn on the hoover then turn it off again and then hide in the closet now that's going to attract the attention of the guard who was sitting on the floor outside when he comes in to investigate we can then exit the cupboard or the closet sneak up behind him or walk up behind him render him unconscious we're going to take his outfit and then we're going to leave him right there no one's going to find him even though there is a closet if you so wish we're going to go back out through the front door drop down onto the beach and then hang an immediate right and vault over the fence here and then up the hill to our left now this is where our target Akira is and we're just going to run straight up the hill through the double doors and around to our right and then just over in the corner here we will find a screwdriver that's going to come in handy later on there's one of the letters that you need to find for one of the feats or discoveries and I haven't found them all just yet so we'll come back to that at another point so we're going to make our way over to the tower and we're going to climb up the ladder on the outside just like we would in Berlin. There is no trip wire here but we're going to climb up the ladder anyway. We're going to sneak up the rest of the way to the top because somewhere up here there will be an enforcer. And we're just going to sneak around, sneak up behind him, render him unconscious. Again we're going to leave his body right there. And we're just going to wait now for our target, uh, Akira, I think her name is, Akira. Uh, she is currently almost directly below me. There she is. Uh, she is interrogating one of the prisoners that they have. And when she's finished her interrogation, she's going to step outside for a phone call. And she's going to stand underneath this tower directly beneath this sack of bricks and we're just going to drop them on her head when she decides to come out so here she comes now she's going to make her way directly underneath us and as soon as she stops we're just going to drop the bricks straight on her head Akka's out of the way good work that's one problem taken care of so that will get you the someone could hurt themselves challenge we're gonna make our way back down from the tower just be aware that there will be an enforcer somewhere down here i completely forgot about him as i'm still learning the map so we're just going to run away from him as quickly as we possibly can we're going to retrace our steps now back out of the compound here and back down to the beach area now again, my lack of knowledge of the map, uh, the place we are heading for is the chef's little house. And that is one of the very first huts just on our left here. And I run completely past it thinking I'm somewhere else on the map until I get to the boat house, which is the large white building there. And I realize that I've run past the house I need. It's the very first hut this one right in front of us we're going to make our way around to the back of that hut bolt up onto the rear balcony duck in through the window or use the door it's not locked we're going to turn on the radio in here and then duck back out of the window and that's going to wake up the chef who our target uh, I can't think of his name right now it's a weird name 
uh, he's gonna come along and he wants to eat he's hungry but he will only accept food from this woman so we have just woken her up she's gonna turn off the radio she's gonna then get dressed and she's gonna make her way to this building right here uh, this is the kitchen area I'm guessing uh, when she arrives all we're gonna do is follow her into the doorway we won't be trespassing but we want to give her a bit of time to get ahead of us and this door will be locked otherwise so we want her to open the door for us give her a moment to pass through but don't let the door close and then in here we will find a plate where we can prepare a meal we're then going to add our lethal poison to that meal and then we're going to make our way straight out of the room and now we have depending on where the target is uh, we're going to have quite a weight on our hands he could be close by but I believe we've not long missed him so I do believe I am waiting around here for a couple of minutes for him to go through his routine and return to this spot and there he is now the uh, waiter on duty will inform him that his favorite chef is in the kitchen and he is to take a seat and a short while after that it is a little bit of a wait uh, maybe a minute maybe two minutes whilst the young lady prepares the meal and brings it out even though we've already prepared it for her we've done all the hard work we've even added that extra little spicy ingredient the one that gives it a little bit of a kick but eventually the young lady chef will bring out the meal and our target will sample that meal and find it to his disliking <laughs> That's Crest taken care of. Now you just have to deal with the satellite control. So as Lucius says, we just have our final objective, which kind of reminds me a little bit of Sapienza, where we have to go and take out the satellite system. So we're just going to run straight back through the village towards the beach. Just be aware there is an enforcer in this area somewhere. I don't know where he was on this run and we're going to make our way along the beach and into the cave and we're going to take out the camera over there now as you saw I was a little bit too close when I shot the camera and the bullet impact was heard so we're just going to retreat a little way until the guard loses interest and goes back to his usual routine which will be to lean on a weapons crate so he's now losing interest we can now follow him and uh, once we get out of the water and up onto the beach we will be in a trespassing area so we're going to crouch down use the boxes for cover and we're just going to wait right here for the guard leaning on the weapons locker or the weapons crate uh, he's got a companion with him and when his companion patrols away we can then sneak up behind our target here hug the boxes subdue him from over the boxes we're just going to pull him a little bit over a little bit so his feet aren't sticking out we're going to take his outfit and we're going to make our way deeper into the cave where we will find the satellite relay now just be aware there are two enforcers in this area patrolling in opposite directions but we want to make our way past the central area and we're going to grab the knife from the boxes over there just going to wait for that enforcer to go past uh, we're now going to remove the panel using the screwdriver we collected earlier cut the wires to the safety override and then we are going to disable the satellite uplink relay whatever doohickey So upon destroying the relay, that will get us the elegant el uh, elimination, I think it was called, uh, discovery or feat. And I get completely lost now. Uh, I'm trying to use the tracking device and I thought I knew where it was going to be. So I start running off in one direction and it turns out 
I've gone the wrong way and I've ended up back at the start so we'll just abandon that for now and we'll take the boat exit as it's right here so there we go our first look at Ambrose Island uh, it does look quite a heavily dense area it's a relatively small map but there's a lot of small locked huts that I have yet to explore in depth and many of the challenges are redacted which is going to slow me down even more but so far I am thoroughly enjoying Ambrose Island I uh, hope you all are too I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video